Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Debbie. This is my crafty home and I am going to make over these little $2 bird houses that I got from Dollarama a couple weeks ago. I want to put these on my spring tiered tray or in my front window. I'm not sure. I kind of decorate across my front window a little bit sometimes. Not all the time, but spring. Um, it snowed again yesterday and I woke up to a bunch of snow this morning. So I might put something springy in my front window. <laughs> I'm not sure yet. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is take these labels off. And I'm going to also take out these little hooks that are in the tops of these because I'm not going to hang these. I'm going to put them onto a pedestal. So I also, to go with these and to make the pedestals, I've got some of the tumbling tower blocks. And I've got one of these dowels. They are, this particular one is probably a half inch or more um, square and these are eight inches long I'm from Dollarama in a package with this size a size that is a quarter this size and one in between those so yeah three different sizes of square dowels in a package so I'm on the hunt for those. I bought those last year, but I'm on the hunt for those again this year because I use these things a lot. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my white chalk paint and I'm going to give all three of these a coat of paint so that I can decoupage on them. And when I'm decoupaging with napkins, I always want a crisp, clean, white background. So if you don't mind, you can actually just decoupage right onto the, the wood. But I'm going to paint mine. I'll just give them one coat of the white paint. Okay, while your paint is drying on your birdhouses, take your tumbling tower blocks and... I'm just using hot glue for mine. You can use wood glue or whatever you want. I'm using the um, Sherbonder glue sticks for wood. And these seem to hold just fine as long as they're in the house and you're not putting them out in the elements. So once you have all three of these glued together, go ahead and paint them white as well I'm just gonna have all of my pieces painted white before I put them together while I have my paint out I am going to give these styrofoam eggs one coat of paint I mean they're already white but I want a nice coat of chalk paint on these. There, and then just let everything dry. For the next part, I'm ready to decorate my bird houses. Everything has a coat of primer paint or chalk paint. Chalk paint works as a fabulous primer. So I am going to use my Mod Podge and this is actually the dishwasher safe Mod Podge, but I'm out of my regular from the Dollarama and I need to go get some more. So I'm gonna set two back and work on one at a time. And I have a bunch of napkins out and they are all pretty florals. So I have these irises that are absolutely gorgeous. I have some lavender, I've got some colored daisies, blue and white, these are really pretty. 
I'm not sure about this because it's more purple than blue, but then I have this one that has the blue and it has the writing on it too. I actually like this one because it has the contrasting colors and then these little areas look like collage pieces. So I think I'm going to start with this one first. Now I've already separated all, oh, I thought I'd already separated. There's a little bit left on this one. But make sure when you're decoupaging that you only have one layer of napkin. I'll put a link to a place in Canada here. She has an enormous amount of napkins, decoupage papers, rice papers, all kinds of things like that. It's called Ninny's Napkins and... I, she's just moved to a brand new big warehouse so she can have even more items. So I'll leave a link to her site in the description box. But other places to get napkins on Facebook, just join a napkin swap group. If you can't find one in your country, start one. I really recommend it. It's such a fantastic way to build up a collection. So I'm going to start with, let me see, I've got my, my decoupage glue, my Mod Podge. I've got my birdhouse. I've got my napkin. I am going to start with using my, I just have a little water pen, water brush, whatever you call these. This one's just from the dollar store. And I'm going to start with this and I'm just going to cut a piece out of this napkin like this. I, I just, I want this chunk with the writing on it. I just think it's really pretty. I've just wet my napkin and now that's how easy it comes out. And I actually tore that out of the middle. Guys, that's how easy these are. So I'm going to start with this birdhouse. And on the front of this birdhouse, I'm just going to poke a tiny little hole in here. I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to make a little wet spot, put it over that perch, and then put my napkin down like this. And then I'm going to start from the perch, and I'm just going to decoupage my way out. And a brush. So you take the, a little bit of your Mod Podge or your decoupage medium, whatever you're using. This can just be white glue if that's what you want. So take this, just put it on the top of your napkin, and then brush towards the side. Just like that. Now remember, these are just little pieces of decor. So if there's a wrinkle in here, don't sweat it. Um, yeah, it's, it's nothing to worry about. Like absolutely nothing to worry about. So I've got to there. And... There, I'm just going to get that there because I'm just going to take my napkin. I'm going to put it up under there. I'm just going to slide it up with my brush to the end and then put this down flat. I just take that and tuck it up underneath. You've got little bits falling off, just pull them off. Now I'm just going to tuck this around and I'm going to glue it to the inside there. Make sure you get enough glue around your hole in the, in the door of your birdhouse that that's all glued down and it's just not going to pull up later. So I have a few wrinkles. I don't care. I'm 
making sure that I get lots to this edge. And I want a little piece to go up in underneath here as well. So I'm just going to grab my napkin and I'm going to go to this blue writing because that's what's there. And I'm just going to just take a little wee triangle here like this so that I can put it on my I'm going to put a little bit of medium on my paintbrush I'm going to stick that there and then just put it right up underneath and decoupage that up so that that's got some napkin right up into the peak of the roof. Now the whole front of my birdhouse is covered and I am just going to work my way around. So it's sticking over the edge a little bit here. I'm just going to I'm just going to roll that a little bit around and glue it down. And then I think this piece here will kind of do the side. So I'm just, I'm not worrying too much. There, so that little bit of vine will go right up there. Now, I have a straight edge at the bottom of my birdhouse. If you want to, you can just take your scissors, if it makes it easier for you, so that when you lay this down on here, remember you've got no glue down so that you can move this around a little bit. So I am just going to do that, but I don't want that straight edge there. Wait, maybe that way. Maybe. I'm going to do another straight edge, guys. Straight edges aren't what I usually work with, but I'm working with straight edges. So let's see what happens if you put that on there like that. I'm going to check it out and see. So I'm going to start with it at the bottom because this is what you see the most. And I'm just going to start right down in this corner. And put that down first, just like that. So what I'm worried about is this front edge right here. So I'm putting that down the best I can. So right up through the middle, I'm going to work my way around my birdhouse. I'm going to go like that. And I'm going to use this piece right here. Now this is up. So I'm going to put it here like this. Fit it right up here to the peak. Then I'm going to brush a little bit of water on the outside of the peak here, like this. And then I'm just gonna hold on to this while I pull this away, like that. Now, I should be able to just push that down into the peak. I know it's a bunch of fiddling, but I wanted this in one piece because you can see the back. Ugh. Napkins are so delicate, guys. You have to be so careful that you don't rip them. Now that's too wet, so I'm going to start working from the bottom up and just let that dry a tad. I'm just going to start here. I'm not going to wrap this around the edge because that's a straight edge. I don't want to wrap a straight edge so that I have a line right down the side of my birdhouse. I'm going to make sure that I've got decoupage medium all the way to that edge so that it's glued down well. And then I'm going to work on this. 
peak. So let's put that back down to that hole where I ripped it from. Let's see. I'm gonna let this just dry like that. Because my napkin's wet, I don't want to go over that too many times. Okay, so these two edges, I don't mind if I go around like this. They're torn edges, they're very rough. So they're not gonna show that much. And then I'm gonna take a piece of napkin. I'm gonna take this piece right there. And I'm gonna put it down on here like this. I know that vine goes upside down, but that's okay. I don't mind that. And then I'm just gonna brush down my corner too. I just put some on that one. Make sure that's glued down. And I think I'm good. And I'm gonna let this dry really well. But look at how pretty. I want this, I want this on my roof. So, I'm gonna take my water pen. I'm just gonna go down here and remove some of this. And then, I don't want it to go all the way down the other side of this. I only want it to go over the top a little bit and I want it to be crooked. So I'm gonna take this. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna take my water pen and I'm going to make, make a wavy edge and I'm gonna pull this off of here. That's better, that's better. Let's see how much of this goes down the other side first. Like that, like that I think. So that the flower is on this side and the leaves are on the other side. Okay, now let, let your birdhouse dry. Okay, while the first birdhouse is drying, I'm going to work on this one. This one has two peaks, so it has all of this, so it's going to be harder to decoupage on this than it was on the other one, because it only had the one peak. I think I'm going to use the daisy napkin. So I think what I'm gonna do on the back is put this one up in there. And I'm just gonna go like this. I'm just gonna put that into there like that. So I'm gonna put that up into there and I'm gonna cut there and I'm gonna cut there like that so that I can now put this down here without pulling that back up. And then I'm just going to brush right down that the inside of that overhang. Yeah. 
So I'm not going very far. I'm just going to decoupage under the overhang on the bottom one. This is the hardest thing I've ever decoupaged. It's just a little birdhouse. I'm going to take my water brush, put a drop of water out and into the middle of this and just wet it around. And then I'm just going to take the other end and I'm going to poke it right through like that and break that up a bit. Then I can then I can take this and I think I want that blue flower, this one right here, but I don't want this white flower. So let's see. Let's see if I can pull these away. There, and I'm just leaving the green. Just leaving the green like that. Okay. I'm just going to keep brushing a little bit of glue. Oops, can't brush that way. That's, that's the way that goes. Oops, let's take some more of that off then. Get rid of that. Okay, now I've got this cut like this. I don't need this whole piece flapping out, so I'm just going to cut that off. And the same on this side. I don't need the whole piece. I need a little bit of it, but I don't need the whole piece. So now let's see if I can decoupage that top in there and not screw it all up. Oh my gosh, that's so much easier. It's really hard to get it up into the peak. Oh, and this napkin's starting to tear already, and I didn't even get that part wet. There. I'm going to let that dry because I cannot work on it wet with this napkin. This napkin's just tearing way too easily. So, but I do have some up in the peak there, and now I have it up in the peak there. There, get some of that off there so it's not pulling on it. And I'm just going to use my nail file to take those edges off once this dries a little bit. And I'm going to move on to the third birdhouse. I'm going to try to pull some of that blue off there. Just a little bit of that blue off. And then I'm going to put this at the bottom on this one. So let's make myself a little hole right on top of that and then push this down through. I'm gonna pull some of this out and then I'm just gonna put the decoupage medium on that and kind of wrap the bottom of this hole with the napkin. So I don't know if you can see what I'm doing there but yeah I'm just kind of wrapping it around. I took a big chunk out of the middle. So I have that on the front I'm actually going to wrap this because I'm going to keep going with this pattern.
there so I have daisies all around the bottom of this one that is really pretty I love that and I think I want some in the roof as well and I'm gonna go for a few of these blue ones just a few and I'm going to put I'm gonna take my water pen and I'm just gonna take a strip down both sides of this blue flower here I'm pulling this off while it's wet because I don't want it to be a perfect line around the bottom here. I kind of want this. Oh, come on. Maybe I can do it with my five. Oh, no, there. I got a little piece. I kind of want it to end. up a little bit let me see maybe I can pull this off with a nail file yeah that grabs hold of it a little bit better I want it to be a little bit like into the flowers not a bunch of that yellowy there that's a little bit better I didn't want the blue to be all the way down to this scalloped edge so I like that a little bit better so there's that one because I've used that napkin for both of these but kind of given them both a bit of a different look I just think this daisy napkin suits these birdhouses. So let's see, because I have the blues there, I have a little bit of this blue floral. Yes, perfect. So I'm gonna use this one here. I'm gonna take that off because I don't wanna ruin that little bit right there. I may just use it on the other side. So I'm just going to start off in there and brush down. I'm going to let that dry and take that off because I've got the green on the back, but the blue on the side. And there. I'm going to take that off. And then put this last little blue flower, tuck it up under there and just put it so, just so. There we go. Take my very first one that has all of this overhang. I'm just going to take my nail file and putting my thumb on here to make some pressure. I'm just going to go up that side and then that'll come off of there really nicely. I'll go down there and I'm taking it and I'm pushing. So there's my edge right here and I don't want to go like this because I want that to be a straight edge on this one. So I'm going down. There. There. So do I have a nice straight edge all the way around? I do so. Isn't that lovely? And I have my nice white trim at the front and the back. And yeah, so I'm really happy with this one. Okay, so while my bird houses are drying, I've got these eggs. And 
I thought that they would be kind of cute just put out throughout my tiered tray. So what I'm thinking is that I'm going to decoupage these as well. I'm going to take the rest of this napkin here and I've got two more panels of this and so that they kind of match the bird houses. I am going to take my brush here and I am just going to take sections of this apart. So this is going to decoupage on better if it's not one great big huge piece. So I have this now. Also, I'm going to just take this and I'm going to just make a little line down here, I think, and give that a little split so that this, this will wrap around my egg a little better. So I'm just going to start in the middle of this, this daisy. I'm going to use this napkin on this one. There. I love these little, it just said seats here. So I love that. I'm going to cut that out. I love all of this bit of lavender here. Don't be afraid to just fold it over a little bit if you have to. You are going to have a wrinkle when you're going around something that's round like this. So just don't be afraid to just brush those uh, brush a little bit down there then I'm brushing a little bit down there then I'm going to have a wrinkle right there so I'm just making sure I have some glue on this side of it and then I'm just going to brush over it and I'm going to glue down the wrinkle. It's that simple. So let's take this and just lay it in here like that and we'll brush it down. So once you get to a point where you don't have a dry spot to hang on to, you're going to have to put this down on something so it doesn't roll away and let that dry. Because if you don't, as soon as you touch your finger to this glue, you're going to lift the napkin back off with your finger. So don't be trying to grab it where there's wet glue. And I'm going to put it on. So when you're doing a project like this, it's probably a good thing to do more than one at a time or you're going to be constantly waiting for stuff to dry. If you're doing four or five at once, you could just cut a whole bunch of napkin pieces, put them on the table in front of you and then work your way down the eggs. Doing a little bit on each one and then letting it dry. By the time you got to the end and you got back to the first one, you'd be able to pick it up and keep going. But there, isn't that pretty? So I'm going to put that down there. I'm going to let these few pieces dry and I'm going to carry on. These are dry to the touch. So these are going to dry really well. And when they are, I'm going to give them another coat to seal them in nicely. And I'm going to move back to my birdhouses. So these are pretty good. They're, they're fairly dry. Now this is the birdhouse that I kept up from the bottom purposely because I 
was thinking about taking these birdhouses and with this crafters acrylic paint I get this at Dollarama also so the eggs the birdhouses and the paint all come from Dollarama napkins you can get anywhere so anytime you see pretty napkins just buy them um <laughs> so but I thought I would use some of the green and using my chippy brush so I was thinking that I would paint the base of all my birdhouses with the green paint and kind of give my birdhouses a front a front lawn so I'm going to try not to get too much underneath keep it tidy looking and that's what I'm going to do I'm going to give these now you can paint over chalk paint with acrylic paint because the chalk paint itself is like a primer. There. So I've got the base painted green, but on this one, because I don't have the florals to the bottom, I'm going to work that up into my chippy brush and then I am going to, I'm going to put that right down into there, right onto the base and then drag it up because what I'm looking for is that grass look for right there. So like that, what do you think? Now this one just has a white roof. So the other place I thought I'd put some of that green paint is just kind of, just kind of along the edges like this. To make it look like there's a little bit of moss growing on the roof of the birdhouse. There. And I'm just dabbing this on. Pouncing, dabbing, whatever you want to call it. there just a little bit like that but only on the one corner because typically moss would grow on the shady corner of your roof maybe not necessarily on the whole roof if you get sunlight everywhere so I think this birdhouse I might put another coat of green just on the base once that one's dry so I'm going to move on to the next one and I'm going to do the same corner to give it that moss look. I'm going to do the same kind of pouncing in that corner. And I'm going to do the base. Okay, so I have my hot glue gun already. I have my little pedestals. I have my bird houses. And I've got my three different little posts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each one of these little pedestals, make sure which side lays the flattest, and I am going to put a good amount of hot glue on the bottom of this and I'm going to put it right down in the middle of this. But 
That one's not quite centered, that first one. That one's on there. There. And I'm going to put this one on the third little pedestal. I'm just using hot glue. You could use wood glue if you wanted to, or you could use a combination of both. And then I'm going to, so I'm just gonna put this one down the lowest. Just got the double roof. So I'm gonna put a good amount on top of there. I'm going to line this up and set it down. And I have a birdhouse on a pedestal. So here they are. They look absolutely adorable. So you can see inside there because the light from my camera is shining in there. But if you wanted to, you could put a paintbrush in there and paint the back wall black and it would just make that hole darker and a little more maybe interesting or mysterious. Depends on how you want to look at it. But I think they turned out really cute. Let me know in the comments what you think. These are definitely going on my tiered trays. Um, yeah, I just, I think they're adorable. So you could put these together on one stand if you wanted to and use them as one piece. I've kept them separate with their own little pedestals here simply because I'm not sure where I'll be using them and I can move them around on a tiered tray that way. And I've got the eggs just nestled underneath there right now. But you could put these onto a tray down the center of your table. Then you could cover the base of the stands with some moss and you could just nestle your little eggs all through. Do a bunch of eggs and then nestle them all through the moss. I think that would make a great uh, a great start on a centerpiece. So if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Let YouTube know you're watching. Help me grow my channel. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you enjoy this type of video, I would really love you to come back and watch a few more videos. So don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I'll see everyone in the next one. Until then, bye-bye for now, everyone.